This is a lesson on exploring tenths. And tenths are those fractions with 10 as the denominator. Remember, the denominator is the bottom number. So there are a few things that you need to know before we get into the lesson. First thing is that tenths can be written as decimals. And that's what we're going to be con um, focusing on is converting decimals to fractions and fractions to decimals. It's easy, don't worry. Um, the second thing that you need to know is that decimal point separates the whole number or the whole number part from the fraction part. Okay, so that's the whole purpose of the, it's like a little period. The purpose of it is to separate the whole numbers and the fractions. Okay, um, and the last thing that you know need to know is that we read decimals in the same way that we read fractions. So you say the same words, it's just written differently. So here are two examples. We've got three tenths here. So a three on the top, a ten on the bottom. And that is equal to this. We've got a zero, then we've got a decimal here, and then we've got a three. And we would say this as three tenths. Both of them, because they mean the same thing. They're just a different way of writing it. Okay? And the last one here, we've got nine tenths. And same thing again, we've got the zero decimal and then the nine. Okay? So let's look at uh, the lesson here. It says, here is one way to model seven tenths. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, base ten blocks. Now in this case, in this case, um, a hole would be um, a square, one of those, I guess, hundreds blocks. In that case, that's what one hole would be. And then it would, you could divide it up into 10 strips. And then so seven of those strips are here, shown here in seven tenths. Um, there's a, a number of ways that you can show seven tenths. And you'll see that in your textbook lesson. But here's one way. Okay, so any number in tenths can be written as a fraction or as a decimal. So to write a decimal as a fraction, you use a decimal point, as I said above. Um, and so we've got seven tenths here. Now that is the same as this. We've got the zero, a decimal, and a seven. So that's still saying seven tenths. Okay, and then... Uh, this is the decimal point right there, that period there. Okay, and so that's what I'm talking about. This is the whole number. So if there was a one here, that would mean one whole and then uh, seven tenths more. But it's not. We're going to be focusing on putting a zero, a decimal, and then the numerator. Okay, and I know that it just, it goes easily like this because um, ten only has one zero. And uh, seven it has one digit as well, so that means that the seven goes right after the decimal. Now we'll discuss this more next lesson when we explore hundredths, but just for right now, knowing that since there's one zero in the denominator, that the seven goes right beside the decimal point. Okay, so um, since seven tenths or seven tenths again, are less than one whole, we write zero before the decimal point to show that there is no whole number part. Okay, so don't just write decimal seven. Still write the zero there because it shows that there is nothing there. It shows that there's no whole numbers. Okay, now you can use a place value chart to show a decimal. And I've got it here. So here's the ones place. Here's the tenths place. Notice how it's tenths, not tens. Tens is on this side of the ones place. It goes to the left. But on the right, after the decimal, every number ends with a THS, like this one, tenths. Okay? And there's no ones. Okay? There's only one spot for ones. And then... Ones gets tens on one side and tenths on the other side. So it's right here. And that's what we call this, seven tenths right here. Okay? Um, and then to say this number, I've got it written here for you. It says, you say zero and seven tenths. 
So you don't say decimal or point. And I mean, sometimes people do say that, but the correct way to say it is um, and, to say and in this decimal part here, okay? And then here's a little reminder saying that the decimal point is between the ones place and the tenths place, okay? Um, so we've got a practice here. And uh, you could use just a strip of 10 squares and color in the appropriate amount for the picture. But what you need to do is draw a picture of each fraction and then write that fraction as a decimal. And that's one thing that you'll be doing in your assignment. So we're going to practice that together. So please pause the video now and then play again when you are um, finished the two questions. All right, so I've gone ahead and drawn my uh, two pictures, but I haven't colored them in yet. I wanted to, to do that together. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spaces showing my denominator. Okay, ten spaces showing my denominator. And then I am going to color two spaces to show my numerator. So here's one and here's two. So here's a picture. Your picture might not look like this, and that's fine. Um, as long as you have two and then out of ten. Okay. And then as a decimal, since this since there's one zero in the denominator and one digit in the numerator, that means that uh, the numerator goes right after the decimal. It's going to be zero decimal two. Okay. And then over here, same idea. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spaces to show my denominator. And then I have to color in eight of the spaces to show my numerator. So there's four, there's five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now notice I didn't go like this to color them in, uh, that's exaggerating, but I didn't go like this, okay, I didn't uh, just color my spaces in like that, they're clearly colored in, even though not all the spaces are fully colored in, because I'm on a computer and it's harder, um, but even if you colored yours in similar to this, that's acceptable, but just going like this and expecting that to count as a fully colored square, no. Okay, but your picture might have looked something like this. Okay, and then as a decimal, we've got zero, a decimal, and then there's one zero in the denominator and one digit in the numerator, so the numerator goes right after the decimal. Okay, it's going to be like that for this entire lesson. The numerator is always going to go after the decimal. It's not going to be that way always in the next lesson though. So just keep that in mind <clears throat> that you do have to pay attention to it later. Okay, so your lesson or your assignment then is on page 198 to 199 and it's numbers 1 to 7.